To most of us, second helpings feel greedy. We want to make sure everyone has enough. We don't want to seem unsatisfied with what we already have, and somehow, in a world that operates with a lot of excess and consumerism, the idea of wanting more is worse than actually having more. It's fine to have more, but asking for it or desiring it is where we draw the line. In the story of Elisha, we see him straight up ask for double share of Elijah's already booming spirit of God. It may seem out of place when we see a lot of prayers being marked by contentment and meekness, but Elisha isn't asking for glory himself, but rather for God and His kingdom. You may have heard the verse before, ask and it shall be given to you. While Jesus did say these words in the book of Matthew in the New Testament, it is often taken out of context. Jesus isn't saying here, I am a cosmic genie, ask for anything you want and I'll give it to you. We have each likely experienced God not answering a prayer the way we had hoped, and we can feel disappointed when we expect to ask and receive. What Jesus is directing us to here and throughout the Bible is when we ask for God's will to be carried out through us, when we desire most to be a partner in the expansion in His kingdom on earth, that is a prayer that God is happy to answer. We see this pointed out again and again throughout scripture. Here are just a few. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which He has called you, what are the riches of His glorious inheritance and in the saints. In these verses, what is good and perfect or the glorious inheritance of the saints isn't for us to determine, it's for God to determine. So if you want a second share for God's kingdom like Elisha, and we know God wants to give us that, what's next? Well, we ask for it. Consider where you've been placed, in your job, in your family, your church, your neighborhood. Where has God positioned you to expand His kingdom? to show His love and grace to others. So many of us have multiple roles, so if you aren't sure where you're meant to be intentionally expanding the kingdom, just ask. Ask God to stir in you a clarity as to where and how you can be a part of His work. Pastor Jim gave us some great prompts in his talk about how you might ask for a second share in work or in your family. Feel free to borrow from those. Asking for your second share is a way of stepping into the partnership God offers us. It's saying, yes, I am on this team. I want to be a part of this work. I believe God's kingdom and love is the hope of the world, and I want in on building it, which is an exciting prayer to pray. But also, it's a big one. So be ready as you ask for God, the God of the universe, to double your share. He often works in ways you could never have dreamt of.